morning. It's Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Bird with a Death Wish, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 22. And I solemnly declare to everyone who hears the word of prophecy written in this book, if anyone adds anything to what is written here, God will add to that person the plagues described in this book. And if anyone removes any of the words from this book of prophecy, God will remove that person's share in the tree of life and in the holy city that are described in this book. Our daughter Jen has a lovely home, and the yard is a peaceful oasis, except for one thing, a mockingbird that shows up sometimes courting death. It's a goofy bird with a death wish, meowing. That's right, bird, calling, of all things, a feline with an appetite for bird. Every time we pull up in the driveway for a visit, I check the back porch for feathers. Now, if that sounds strange, and it certainly impressed me as such, there are stranger things. I won't bore you with a full tour of Ripley's Believe It or Not, but the world is full of people and critters that do dumb things. For today and eternity, the strangest thing I've ever encountered are those who insist on changing what God has said to suit what they want to hear with their itchy ears rather than obey the Almighty Creator who has said, Don't mess with my word. At present, we're dealing with a moderately lethal pandemic that has a death rate holding at about 4% of those who are confirmed to have the virus. This is mild by comparison with the 1918 flu pandemic that had an infection-to-death ratio of approximately 20%. That being said, coronavirus is more than a blip on the screen, infecting roughly 1% of this country's population. Now, if one of the worst plagues in modern times killed 20% of those who contracted it, and the current plague is around 4%, What are we to make of a plague that holds stable at 100%? And what, pray tell, could we possibly say about human mockingbirds meowing at a plague like that? Of course, I'm talking about the plague of plagues, the pandemic syndemic. It infects 100% of humanity and the death rate is one out of every one. The source for this statistic comes from Scripture, Romans chapter 6. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, that's the bad news and the good news. The pandemic is real and it kills us all eternally. But for those willing to trust God at his word, the cure or recovery rate is just as comprehensive. Everyone who entrusts his or her life and will to God because of God's great gift of forgiveness will live forever. But for those who want to change God's word and make it say what it doesn't and silence it where it speaks plainly, the last sentences of scripture hold an ominous threat. God will add to that person the plagues of all time. There were ten plagues visited on Egypt for unbelief. There is coming a series of plagues, both diseases, natural disasters, and dictators who will enslave millions. Go ahead and read Revelation's prophecy if you have a strong stomach. All of it will fall on the heads of those who not only ignore God's word, but try to make it say what it doesn't. For those whose God is wealth and power, the plague of getting what they want in the here and now, and hell in the future. For those whose God is sexual perversion and promiscuity, a sexually transmitted character virus that will rot the soul for eternity. And for those whose God is their own image, an eternity alone, abandoned and unbothered by any other voice, smile, or warmth of human contact, just a mirror to see how wonderfully admired they are by no one. This is the picture of my daughter's suicidal mockingbird looking into the face of death and calling it closer. Let's pray together. Father, our ways are strange and fickle, driven by a plague of coldness and hardness of the heart. 
Let your word rest on those frozen hearts, warming us with the fire of heaven's hound. For you today, for every word of condemnation the scriptures use to warn us, there is a corresponding and loving offer of redemption for those who will change their song from death wish to life in the hands of Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.